All right, part four coming at you. Up top, American Gangster, only because it won't fit on the shelf in the letter that it's at. Got this six pack of movies for a really good price. Probably, I might sell it eventually, but um, I'm also just getting into horror, and so I'd like to see some of these movies. Band of Brothers Blu-ray, I did find this on at a pawn shop. The case is a little bit dinged up, and it is a... Re, it's a, I believe this is the Spain release. Anyway, it, it it's a Region A Blu-ray, and I knew that, but what I told the pawn shop was, it looks like that region is not an American release, and then I saw the subtitles on there, and so they gave it to me for a great price, because I know a lot about DVDs and Blu-rays. All right, going through the actual shelf here, you can probably see some of these. Maybe I'll bring you guys a little closer into my shelf. Here, whoops, that way. Uh, ours. Yeah, Sanjuro. I also have Yojimbo. Criterion. Found these at Value Village for? Yes. $3.99. Alright, Schindler's List. Another steelbook. The Scarface Edition. This is the Canadian release. And I also found this at the pawn shop as well. And it What's cool about this is it also has the Howard Hawks version of Scarface on there. Really cool to have that. Scott Pilgrim Blu-ray. Seven Samurai, another Kurosawa Blu-ray that I found. I got this for $4, I believe it was. Another pawn shop. Most of my collection has been created from pawn shops. I'm not really a new... Uh, I don't really buy things new very rarely um, going through the S's here see a ton of stuff that jumps out at me one of the great documentaries if you guys ever get a chance standing in the shadows of Motown it's about the Funk Brothers they did a lot of the backup tracks in the Motown generation and it's really good to hear their story actually be told alright here's a little stopping point on the tour my Star Trek collection. I do have most of these widescreen presentations. I have the original movie 2, 3, 4, and then it goes to First Contact, Nemesis, Insurrection. I'm missing a couple out of here. I was a very late comer to the Star Trek series. I think I watched it when I was, I want to say, 30 probably 30 and uh, really enjoyed the mythology of it also enjoyed JJ Abrams take on it with the Star Trek so took that this is a random New Hope um, disc I think I bought this to sell but I haven't sold it yet it's the one that has the original cut on it I believe without any of the alterations going through here Super Mario Brothers Sucker Punch I got from Duels as a rad or a contest, I think, on one of his videos. Sorry about the glare there. And what else if we go through here? I see so many movies that were part of movie parties over the last year, like The Thing. Stuff just stands out to me. And then going down further, if you guys can see down on this shelf, yeah. Uh, started to get into because of Royal B some Psychotronica stuff. This is Marijuana Assassins of Use Youth and it is a something weird video and I quickly realized that those something weird videos are kind of hard to find so I pick those up if I find them. And again another one like Glee and Jersey Shore that I'm gonna get that I always do get knocked for. I do like Twilight the series and I'm looking forward to the new movie here next week. I'm going to see that on Saturday night hopefully. <laughs> and right next to it is another thing that I take heat for all the time is the Tyler Perry. If you notice I only have any of his stage plays. I don't have any of his movies because I personally like the plays. I like the audience's reaction and this was another 
rad that I got was the Twister 2-disc special edition offer. I believe, actually, this is the first rad ever was when Duels 902 ratted me this. This was a holy grail find for me, the 2-disc version of the first DVD that was ever released. And this definitely holds a special place in my heart. Thank you, Duels. Going through here, the very bottom shelf. It's getting kind of dark down here in the corner. Uh, let's see, the use. Here's a movie that very few people have ever heard of, um, but I found it to be really good. It's called Unknown. Jim Caviezel, Greg Kinnear, Bridget Moynihan, Joe Pantoliano. It's got some. It's got a good cast in it, but I don't know really. I've never heard of anybody really talk about this movie. Um, it might be a great movie for a DVD party, actually. Um, it actually reminded me a little bit of, uh, once I saw Saw, Saw kind of reminded me of that. This was a recent pickup. It was the view for Vendetta with the lenticular cover. If I can show that, switching back and forth there. And the graphic novel by Alan Moore. So I was glad to get that. I replaced, I did initially have this two-disc and I replaced it with this version with the slip sleeve and the lenticular cover because I like having the best edition features wise and stuff that's out for things I don't see a lot of people have this version of Walk the Line speaking of best versions uh, the 2 disc collector's edition version I really enjoy having that movie and I like that movie a lot too I'm getting up into it here this was another gift by Thin and Bony this time uh, he I donated war games to him and it was actually the older version of it and told him that one of the reasons I was giving it up was because there was a new version of it out and I was kind of looking forward to that one the 25th anniversary edition because it has special features on it and he hooked me up with that so showing the love this subreddit is all about showing the love all right and Wizard of Oz we got both editions here and I'll be honest once I got the 70th anniversary and the two disc special edition I also got my mom the blu-ray version and I didn't see a lot of difference between the blu-ray version and the DVD release that's disc shelf number four